Hi bro from WPSites.net. This is video 16 in the beginners video tutorial series. Uh, we're going to take a look at uh, users profiles and, uh, and all the different uh, types of profiles and user roles that are included within WordPress. There's actually five different roles um, which you can assign users to. So if you've got a blog where you want other people to contribute um, you can have different levels of uh, what they call capabilities and this will give them different uh, responsibilities. So by default for the for the website or the blog owner um, they'll be assigned the administrator role so they have full access and capabilities to to every part of WordPress in the in the, the WordPress dashboard. Uh, a subscriber has the the, the minimal amount of uh, uh, capability so they can only read and manage their own profile an author can actually publish and manage their own posts an editor can, editor can publish their own posts and pages and they can also manage authors and contributors contributors is probably the, probably the best for guest authors if you're wanting other people to contribute um, you can assign them the role of a contributor and they can submit new content, new blog posts. They can't publish them so they submit them for review and the administrator, which will be you, they'll, uh, the administrator can uh, review their, their content and decide on to publish it or, or edit it before it's published. But uh, let's just take a look at your own profile first. This is what you should set up when you first install WordPress. So we'll just go back to our demo site. We're using the 2012 default theme for WordPress. We'll just log into the dashboard and we'll go down to Users Your Profile. And you want to make sure you enter in your first and your last name there. You don't have to put your last name in if, you, if you're a bit worried about that. And make sure, by default, this is the display name publicly set to admin. Make sure you change that to, to your first name or your first and your second name. And also your email address there. Make sure you put in a valid email address. And, and what you really should do is sign up for a Gravatar. So if you go to gravatar.com, and put in an email address that you use and sign up for a Gravatar. This will give you a picture of your face which will be displayed in your author box and also next to all your blog comments. So if you just have a look down here we've got an author box below all the posts and uh, you've got a picture of your face there. So that will be displayed there and also next to all the comments. So every time you comment on someone else's blog if you use the same email address which is sign up for a Gravatar, your image will be displayed. The image which you upload to Gravatar will be displayed next to all your comments. So that's a really good idea. It's a way to build your brand and, and, and get your face out there and, uh, and connect with people. So that's really important. So put your personal details in there. Uh, now come down to about yourself and in the biographical information, make sure you put some text in there. Uh, a little bit about yourself. You could create some text uh, by um, using the WordPress editor uh, so you can go add new post, add new page and create some HTML if you want to put some links in here like I have. So I'll put some links in my author box and people can click through to see my about page. They can join me on Google or any of the other social networks or they can complete a short survey which I've added so I know what my readers are looking for. So this is a really good part here. You can change your password down here as well and you can update that. Now the only problem you have using the default theme for WordPress is it doesn't include an author box within the core file so it won't be displayed at the end of all your posts. Now what you can do is install a theme like I use, uh, the Genesis theme framework and you can choose from a huge range of different beautiful themes to install over the top, what they call child themes and this way you'll be able to display your author box below all your posts. So if you're using a premium theme like this generally they include an author box and you go to Authors, Your Profile, and you'll just have to enable that after installing. And you can see here it's added a function which enables an author box. So you can check that. You update the profile. We'll have a look now. You can see that the appearance has changed, and you can see there's an author box included there. I haven't added the email address 
address for my avatar because I'm working off a local installation and it won't work but you can see from my live site it does work so this is a really good part about uh, adding your own profile now the other profiles you want to seriously consider are um, and I'll go to my live site for this as a demo are uh, guest authors and, and, and if you're looking for other people to manage your site if you're wanting to create user generated content and allow guest authors and other people to manage your site the administration side of things there's a whole different range of different roles you can allocate so we'll go to all users and I've actually used this for a membership site so people sign up as subscribers and I've also got a couple of contributors that um, they have they're allowed to submit content so let's just look at adding a new user I've uh, you, there's five different roles which I went through before now it's just simply a matter of creating a username for them uh, you can add them manually yourself or they can actually register themselves so let's just have a look at that you can actually put a, a register box or a register link anywhere on your site I've got it up here it's called members login so my existing members can log in here or they can actually put uh, register here so they can create their own username choose their email address put their first name and they can register and they'll get sent um, an email and that'll go through to them and they can confirm that so another option you could do if you're wanting to build subscribers is you can and I'll use another browser for this I'll use Internet Explorer you could create a landing page and uh, beginners videos and this is what I've done for my beginners videos and this is the uh, the login link here to register I've actually created a button using a button button plugin my existing members click this link and they log in here uh, new members will register here and it comes through they create a username um, they add their email address put their first and last name in there and register and they get sent to password and it's always a good idea to add a capture plugin as well otherwise you'll get a lot of spam with this so these are the different uh, uses which you can use for, 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 for different user roles um, so adding a new user is really easy um, and you can decide on which role you want to give them now let's 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 just take a look at a demo of a contributor what a contributor gets access to so um, I'll log in here as a contributor I've got a contributor called uh, guest author so I'll put that username in I'll put the password in for that uh, I'll click login and this is what they get access to posts comments so they can manage their posts uh, they can submit new posts they cannot publish them they can only submit new posts for the administrator to review or for a editor to review they can manage their comments they can manage their own profiles um, and they also get access to just the basic press this tool they can't access the import or the export tool um, they can play around with their own profile and make changes in there if they like um, changes to their to their author box um, but if we look at posts if we go to all posts um, they can only access their own um, their own posts and they can't publish them they can see all the published posts and they can view them at the front end but they can't access the back end so they can't edit any existing posts so this is really good role for a guest author and uh, if you're wanting to generate more content on your site I, I advise you to to set up some sort of uh, um, system where people can register and contribute you can call it a guest author um, page whatever you like so um, it's a really good way to generate different different content based on uh, certain topics so this is a great part feature of WordPress now let's just submit a post we'll just take some content out of here as an example this is a, for a contributor role um, put in the title we'll call it uh, demo 
contributor post um, and we'll just put some content in here just paste that in save this draft and this is what a contributor will get access to they submit the content for review they can't publish it they can preview it they can um, they can edit their own um, posts and and then they have to submit it for review and they won't be able to publish it so uh, and uh, an administrator or an editor will have to review this so we'll just have a look if you're an administrator or you or an editor you can go in and we'll have a look there should be a post in here for review pending so here we go I think it's under pending we we'll click on pending and here we go here demo contributor post so as an administrator you can access the post uh, warning guest author is currently edited in the post so they know that uh, the guest author is logged in so as an administrator or an editor you can review their post and, and publish it or you can save it as pending so so that's just a, a bit of an overview of the different user roles there's other roles as well obviously you can be as I explained before you can you can allow people to be editors and give them more capabilities and responsibilities or you can just have the uh, the subscriber role so this is what the administrator gets access to which is everything and um, and the the uh, the contributor only gets access to a small amount of uh, capability with WordPress. So that's pretty much it for user roles. You'll find a fair bit of more uh, information on on this uh, below this video. Um, I've I've written quite a few articles on on user roles, how to change your username as well. Um, you can also add and remove remove custom user profile contact info links which you can see in the back end of, uh, of, of, of WordPress. I'll just show you them quickly. Um, there's, there's different fields that are included by default. And here they are here. Uh, website, AIM, Yahoo, Jabber, Google+. You can actually add more or change, more, change these. So I've written about that and you'll find a link below the video for that. Also, verify and author ownership of your, all your posts. This is very important. It's called author rank. It's fairly new to Google and there's ways to set that up as well. So I've included a link there. And uh, so that's it for user roles. Uh, next time we'll take a look at uh, the general settings. So uh, over the next four or five uh, videos, we're going to have a look at the different types of settings that you need to configure when you first install WordPress. So thanks for watching, folks. See you next time. Cheers.